When asked about his plans for Panama in 1904, an ebullient Teddy Roosevelt declared, I'm going to make the dirt fly. But first, he sent an army doctor, Colonel William Gorgas, to eliminate the yellow fever epidemics that had doomed earlier French efforts. Gorgas declared war on the local mosquitoes, and within a year, the yellow fever threat was gone. Then, workers under the command of Colonel George Washington Gothels blasted and dug their way through the Cordillera Mountains, carving a nine-mile-long canyon called the Calabra Cut. For over six years, the giant steam shovels dug without pause, filling a railroad car every eight minutes. The trains rolled as far north as the mouth of the Chagres River, where their loads were used to build the gigantic earthen Gatun Dam. Locks big enough to lift battleships were built at the Atlantic and Pacific ends of the canal. Finally, on June 27, 1913, the dam was closed and the largest man-made lake in history filled, flowing into the Calabra Cut, connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans by a slender but navigable thread.